Hello, I'm Brian Junker from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm going to tell you something about the typical recording signal path in the equipment that I use for audio recording in my basement. The signal begins with a tone generated by some instrument, or perhaps this banjo. So we pluck a string like so, or maybe we truck pluck several strings. strings vibrate, and because they're connected mechanically to the head of the banjo, the head of the banjo also vibrates, and that sets up pressure pulses in the air, just like when Loudon was pushing against the slinky, that set up pressure pulses in the slinky. The pressure pulses travel from the banjo to the microphone. The microphone is a kind of input transducer it transforms the energy of the pressure pulses in the air into variations in voltages called an audio signal. Those voltages, or that audio signal, travel down this cable and over to my mixer over there. The audio signal travels along this cable from the microphone to the mixer, here. Two things happen in the mixer. First of all, the audio signal is amplified by a microphone preamplifier which raises the level of the signal up to a typical working level for audio processing. The second thing that happens once, it's, once the signal has been amplified is it goes through a three-band equalizer where I can adjust the tone of the sound for deficiencies in the microphone. The microphone doesn't hear all frequencies equally well. Some of them it overemphasizes, others it de-emphasizes, and so I can adjust high, middle, and low frequencies here before I do anything else to the signal. Finally, the signal comes out. Um, in this case, the signal will come out um, this pair of cables here, and it goes into an A to D converter, an audio interface, um, goes in here and gets converted from that audio signal that changes in voltages into a sequence of zeros and ones, or a binary signal. The binary signal travels down this black wire, which you can see here, and it will come out the USB interface plug here into my laptop which we'll look at next. Okay, you can see that I've plugged in the USB cable here. So the digital signal travels from the AD converter that we talked about a minute ago into my laptop here. Now, you can see that I've set up the laptop with a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, called Reaper, which is one of the recommended DAWs for this class. When I play the banjo into the microphone, the signal gets converted to voltage variations, an audio signal that goes through the mixer, then through the A to D converter, through the USB cable, into the laptop, and gets recorded in the DAW. I'll switch the recorder on. And you can see the visual representation of the sound waves in the DAW up here. So there's the whole story of the signal path when I make a recording. From the sound that the banjo makes through the input transducer, which is the microphone, it becomes a sequence of voltage variations, the audio signal, which goes through my mixer from the mixer to a converter, converts the audio signal to a digital signal which goes into my laptop, and the laptop makes a recording. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to your comments.